In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. In the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen, now and forevermore. Brethren, I am true Christ witness, A.B. Christopher, of the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star here in Uganda. Today we are going to present a topic, the, those with problems, those with divert problems. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave an invitation, a clarion call to all to come unto him. That is the topic we have today. Our Lord Jesus Christ called all those that are heavy laden and heavy burden. Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, with your burdens, and I will give you rest. And our topic is taken from the gospel according to Saint Mind You. Chapter 11, verse 28. So today is a special day, especially for those with diabetes problems. Why not seek the face of God? Why not come to Him? Why not answer this clarion call? The call has been extended to all. Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Now, the entire Christian world believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, where did they go with their problems? The people that call upon God, those who believe in the existence of God, where did they go with their problems? If they are sick, where did they go? If they lack, where did they go? If they are in need, where did they go? Did they come to Him? So, Today, our topic is that all those who are heavy laden, those who labor and heavy laden, there is a call for you, our Lord Jesus Christ, the one that died on the cross of Calvary, invited us, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy. When you read down, you will see and my body is light. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 10, it is written, Christ said, this thing is given to us from 8 to 10. Freely you receive, freely give out. So, even in the book of Revelation chapter 21, verse 6 and 7, he said, I'm the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He who is tasty should come and drink of the water of life freely. It is a free gift from God. God does not charge anybody, does not collect anything before he helps you, before he answers your prayers. Just come to him. The invitation is free. If you have problem, seek the face of God. Do not go anywhere. God is omnipresent omnipotent and omniscient. You can discuss with him. He's your father. He's your master. He's your comforter. He's your redeemer. He's your savior. So call on him. Whisper to him. Tell him whatever is your problem. Just believe in him. Have faith. Believe in the existence of God. There is God who created heaven and earth and has many that come to him, he has never forsaken them. will never go back empty-handed. Nobody ever come to him and go back empty-handed. Abraham that you are hearing, he walked with God. Isaac walked with God. Jacob walked with God. Moses, David, Joseph, Elijah, Samuel, as many that you can call in the scriptures, they all walk with this same God that you call your Father, your Lord, your God, your Savior, and none of them roam about with their problems. They brought their problems to him and were told that he has never disappointed them. He has never. Nobody come to him and go back empty-handed. This God is in existence. He has no beginning, he has no end. His glory has no beginning, has no end. His power is unlimited. He has given us a name to call. The name is empowered. 
The name is everything. The name is the bomb you are looking for. The name is the tablet and injection. He said, in my name, ask, and it shall be given unto you. But today, nobody care to ask in his name. Everybody go to hospital. Is that where you were invited? People go to native doctors. Is that where you were invited? People go to shrines. Is that where you were invited? I mean, we are talking to Christians, the Muslims, they are Christians, the Buddhas. People go and make shams for themselves. People make talisman, enter secret societies. Is that where you were invited? Come back home, your father is still waiting for you. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. So come up with your problems to God. Don't go anywhere. Right inside your house, there is God. In the vehicle, there is God. In the forest, there is God. God is omnipresent. He's present everywhere. And he answers prayer anywhere. Despite your tribe, your nation, your, your status or your stature, it doesn't stop him not to answer you. He does not discriminate. He makes his rain to fall on every roof. And he makes the sun to shine upon the rich, the poor, the fool, and the wise. He bought the animals, the trees. Everybody enjoy this God. In God, he give out freely. Seek his face when you have problem. Come to him. Lean down. Go on your bended knees. Pray to him. Confess your sins. Tell him your problem. He will answer you. From henceforth, do not go anywhere with your problems. Because we're told from the scriptures that those who walk with God, whenever they have problems, they call upon God. They don't go anywhere. They seek the face of God. If they have committed anything, they confess their sins to God and God forgive them and answer their prayers. He said, call upon me at any time of your trouble and I will answer you. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Neither be afraid. Believe in God and believe also in me. That is what our Lord Jesus Christ said in the Gospel according to St. John chapter 14, verse 1. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe also in me. Christ also said in the same John chapter 14, verse 27, say, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth. The world cannot give you peace. The world cannot offer you any good thing. God owns the heavens and the earth. He created everything. Always come to him. Both your body, everything about you belongs to God. So there is necessity that whenever we have problems, we should come to God. Don't go to the trees. Don't go to the back of trees, the leaves. Don't go to anywhere. God has never given power to anybody. He has never given power to trees. When our Lord Jesus Christ resurrected, in the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, what did he say? He said, all authorities in heaven and on earth has been given to him. Then in Revelation chapter 3, verse 7, it is written, the son of David has the master key. Whatever he opened, no man can lock. And whatever he locked, no man can open. Why don't you seek for the face of that being? Why don't you come to the first begotten Son of God? He doesn't charge anybody. The hospitals, the hospitals you are going, are they not charging you? The native doctors that you patronize, are they not collecting money from you? They collect good, collect everything. Those who are doing rituals, are they not risking their lives? Those who are going to secret societies, are they not risking their life? The life of their families, the life of their children, the life of their wealth and everything. They go to those places. Why can't you come to God? Who we'll give freely to all men that seek for him. So we are advised, seek the face of God whenever you are in trouble. He will answer you. He has never neglected anybody. He has never forsaken anybody. The entire world belongs to him. All creatures belong to him. In him there is no partiality. He doesn't know this is a rich man, this is a wise man, this is a fool, this is a madman, this is a poor man. This, this. Mostly those with problems, the downtrodden, the forsaken, those who don't have anybody around them, seek the face of God. This is not a matter of money. This is not a matter of wealth. Seek his face and he will answer you. Because the invitation was given by him. In Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, he said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Once you have him, you have rest, you have peace, you have joy, you have every good thing from heaven. The world cannot give peace. The world cannot give you rest. Only God can give you all these things. So we are pleading with every child of God all over the world, whether you are a Muslim, 
whether you are a Christian, a Buddhist, Christian, or whatever you are, seek the face of God. He's one God who created all of us. He's our Father. He's all and in all. So when we seek His face, humble ourselves, confess our sins, he will answer our prayers and solve our problem. And that is the information we are giving you. Thank you for listening. I still remain true Christ witness, A.B. Christopher, here in Uganda, Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. So you can get us in our YouTube channel. You can also see us in our Facebook, Identification of the Godman. You see us there. And uh, thank you for viewing and remain blessed. And we believe that for listening to us and viewing this message, God, the Almighty, the solution solver has solved all our problems for us. And may you continue to remain blessed now and forevermore. Amen.